a lot of people don't know that there are ways in which you can wear perfume incorrectly. A lot of people think you just spray it and you're done, but if you actually want your perfume to last quite a while, there are a few tips and tricks you can try uh, to try and make the perfume last longer. So there are also a few mistakes that you should avoid. So because it really has to do with how the perfume oils interact with the oils on your skin. So first mistake that people tend to make is you've probably seen it before. People rub their wrists together like a couple of crickets for some reason. This doesn't do anything. This actually uh, kind of ruins the scent that you put on actually. Mainly because rubbing your, this friction, skin friction, will cause the perfume oils and the alcohol in the perfume to evaporate. And once that happens, you will be left with the, only the shambles of the perfume that you put on. So don't do that. Um, no skin friction, it won't do anything. Um, it, the main thing it will do uh, is warm up the perfume oils for a moment so that the perfume oils are more prominent, but after that brief encounter, uh, the perfume will be kind of destroyed in a way that uh, it won't be able to last very long. So, instead of rubbing your wrists together, just put some perfume on your wrist and don't touch it, don't rub it, um, and that's as simple as that. The other thing is spraying perfume in your hair. There's some mixed kind of thing, mixed beliefs about this. So the main downside of spraying perfume in your hair is that it is full of alcohol, uh, a lot of it, like 80% alcohol for the most part, which is stronger than anything you could really buy in a liquor store. So if you spray it in your hair, uh, that alcohol may damage your hair, especially if you really douse your hair in it. Um, and especially if you do it all the time. Now, doing it occasionally, you know, doing a light spritz in your hair, uh, on occasion, probably won't do anything to your hair, especially if you're already, you know, using conditioner or whatever. The, and it, the good thing is that the perfume will stick in your hair and, and it will kind of waft, you know, if you really want to waft a nice perfume, put it in your hair. Just, you know, it, it can damage your hair if you do it all the time. So in moderation, it's, you could probably do that. So uh, then you have to consider pulse points. Pulse points are certain areas of the body which are warmer than usual that do a good job of expressing perfume oils. So the only reason why perfumes kind of smell or emanate from the body, especially over several hours, is because they are, the oils are being warmed by the temperature of your skin. So the warmer the better because it will help the perfume oils just kind of give off their, their scent. And the uh, reason um, why... The main thing is that if you're if you're cold, you know, if or if you have cold appendages, uh, you might not kind of emanate perfume all that much, mainly because perfume oils don't like cold skin or cold anything, and uh, instead the oils just kind of stick together rather than coming loose and just kind of emanating. So that's why you should put perfume in specific areas. So main obvious are your wrists. Uh, Inside of your elbow is good. Uh, the neck, of course, is obvious. Hair. Hair isn't really a warm area, but although heat does rise from the top of your head, so. And some people put uh, perfume behind their knees, um, usually women, if you're wearing a skirt. Not necessary, really. And some people also put uh, it on their chests or their shoulders. Now, what about putting perfume on your clothes? So that is actually a good idea, even though obviously your clothes themselves alone do not have warmth. Um, the good thing about putting perfume on your clothes is that the particles of the perfume will get into the fabric and the fibers of whatever you're wearing. So that will naturally 
keep the smell with you for a longer period of time. And so, I mean, you know, the scent will follow you wherever you go as long as you're wearing that item of clothing. There are also some other things you could try to, you know, make sure you're wearing perfume correctly, make sure the perfume lasts as long as possible. Uh, and the main thing is that your skin should be uh, moisturized and not dry. So uh, this is because perfume doesn't like dry skin. If it encounters dry skin, it won't be able to stick very well. It'll just kind of go away into the air. Uh, if you want it to last longer and you happen to have dry skin, use a moisturizer of some kind, either maybe a lotion or uh, oil, like coconut oil, put it on your skin, then put the fragrance on, then the oil and the perfume should be able to stick to that moisturizer and it should be able to last on your skin for a much longer peri period of time. Um, which of course is what you want. You don't want your perfume to disappear as soon as you put it on. So what if you don't have uh, what if you don't have dry skin, but instead have oily skin? In that case, you're actually in luck because people with oily skin just tend to usually, in most cases, they have better luck wearing perfumes. Again, this is because perfumes like something to stick to, and if your skin already has plenty of oil on it. The perfume will stick to that oil on your skin and pretty much last how you know however long the perfume is supposed to last six to eight hours whatever but there is the case of some people with oily skin uh, their natural skin oils don't react well to certain perfume oils uh, this is usually true with uh, perfumes that have really prominent sweet notes um, this is because your skin oils can really emphasize those sweet notes into something, uh, an abomination that you wouldn't even like to smell on yourself. This doesn't happen with everybody, obviously. It really depends on your own skin chemistry. But some people with oily skin do not smell great when they wear sweet perfumes. Um, in contrast, some people with oily skin smell a particularly good uh, when they wear perfumes with citrusy notes or um, something like that. So, but overall, uh, if you have dry skin, you're gonna have to moisturize it before you put your perfume on uh, if you want the perfume to last a while. And if you have oily skin, you, you can do that. You can put the extra moisturizer on, but it's probably not necessary. You don't have to, um, to get the same result. But other than that, those are the main kind of tips and tricks that you could use to make sure the perfume lasts as long as it's supposed to and that it smells as it's supposed to. So if you have any other tips and tricks that I have not mentioned, you can always leave those down in the comments. If you like this video, you could click the like button and possibly subscribe. So I come up with videos throughout the week so you could stick around for those.